Don't worry, I put RRG back in the dungeon where he belongs. Hello, Colrats. I am Triclet Tamer, and welcome back to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. I am Triclet Tamer. It feels so good to even repeat yourself. Garden of Hope, 17 out of 17. Formidable Oak, 0 out of 0. Kind of rhyming things forever and ever. 15 out of 15 at the Twilight River. 16 out of 16 at the Distant Tundra, showing the mural for the one under the uh, Stimple Friend of Blossoming Brightness. And only three more fruits remain at the Tropical Wilds in the semi-final-ish episode before the uh, Formidable Oak. But for now, let's check in with our crew. I like other Pikmin. Blue Pikmin have mouths. Did you notice that? And they go MOO when they pick up bomb ruts. Even though it's more of a yellow Pikmin thing in Pikmin 1 at least. Those are gills actually, not mouths. That's ridiculous. I saw those blue Pikmin laughing underwater. Right, well, they must have found it very funny that they were able to extract oxygen from the water. Uh, I feel like I was kind of repeating things there, but I was just kind of reading autopilot, just thinking about Louis and the rubber ducky floating about, just being a little subconscious about my reading. That was so weird. I was like actively thinking that, but subconsciously doing the out loud reading. <laughs> it's kind of weird how that works. Any more reading here? Uh, why'd he take the rubber ducky? Maybe he thought he could eat it. Maybe it's just his treasure grubbing and grabbing Hockitation blood. Well, at least those Hockitations recognize precious objects when they see them. Precious might be overstating it. I don't know. It could very well be worth it. Oh yeah, like rubber ugly. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe worth 60 or 100. However many Pocos in Pikmin 2 and the Citadel of Spiders. I remember that. It's like sub-level 3 or something. One of them sub-levels. Anyway, it's time to land back in the tropical wilds to clear this out. This is the final place we gotta go before the formidable oak, as I keep on saying. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna have plenty of time to get things done. Even if there might be a little bit of combat to be had. Please don't be a rainy day, because I would rather have things be a little bit sunny here. Is it gonna be rainy? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I was worried about it, man. I'm trying to think how I want to handle getting things done. Um, like, what do I even still need to get, for one thing? In fact, I'm even gonna, like, ignore my Pikmin, for now. Okay, there's that there. Yeah, I know what's needed there. It's like all kind of bunched together. Um, I have an idea of how to do it. Brittany, you're gonna go off on your own for one thing. I'm gonna have a couple of groups. Let's do like 15 wings, 15 blues. Brittany, that's your group right there. I'm just gonna automate you right there, sending that far to go for you. Let's not get you back in my party. Oh, don't need my Pikmin out there. <laughs> Mr. Dude of Stuff. I'm just gonna... Go buck wild. Oh, I was supposed to say, like, wait, what's the deal with all these threads coming out as 100? Is all this happening? Uh, sure, you can go crazy if you want. I'm just gonna keep on tossing. Don't let you allow bee eating Pikmin. Just go ahead and get climbing. I just mainly did that to flower my dudes, but it's fine. I'm just gonna charge you guys there. Not on anything else, but you're gonna do some digging. You prepared for it all. Alright, Brittany. With your group, you're going to go into a kind of secret cave they don't really think about, excuse me. Some fly to gel smites here. You didn't think you were going to see them, or any gel smites in general. Alright, let's kind of focus on getting it down, even though it's not too important to do. Don't be plucking. At least these guys are like, almost uh, easier to take down, aside from the fact that they do fly. But the fact that they do fly is almost what makes them easier before they try to skewer your Pikmin. It's a little bit of a strange dilemma, but now of course it's eating. It's gonna have some death happen. Okay, he's trying to pucker a lot. Puckering, puckering blinos. Uh oh, now all that's happening. Yeah, of course he was doing a skewering from down below. The world's so low. Uh oh, down below the world's so low. I'm just, man, it's uh, kind of disorienting. It's kind of annoying how they constantly keep on pace with you and it's strange. I don't even need to kill these guys, but I prefer them to be gone and out of the world. Come on, let's try this. Get your dodge whistle. That's a weird little thing. It doesn't like going to the side of the enemy. Let's just do this. Yeah, if you guys focus on all that, even though I don't need you to, are you gonna get all flimmel blastily? Yeah. If I have to reset the day, you can probably tell why. As much time as I'm taking here. And I don't even need to really grow more Pikmin. Get all homegrown about it. I think there's gonna be some male sheer grubs if you're not careful in particular spots. But I'm just gonna like toss at all these different fluke weeds. I think one with like the fruit is over here, maybe? Yeah, here's the male sugar right there. I think, well, I see a spray over there for me. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen. Oh no, death is happening. So many buggy dudes. I can't believe the buggy dudes are killing. All the death is happening because of them. And I still need more wings. There's a fruit right there, but I'll let you finish that. And I guess two dudes are carrying that. One of them is like gonna go underwater. 
And you are gonna de underground a fire yourself while you're plucking about there. Why you're moving so slow, I don't know. Maybe kind of being throbble net. Yeah, throbble net. How many does this need? I feel like this might be a bomb rock, or maybe not. Oh, it looks like it, yeah. Looks like a boy, a bomb rocky boy. Yeah, bomby boy is gonna get bombastic-ified. Gonna kick the base. And with that bomb rock we have, that orange bulb orb is back, so I think I wanna take him out. Alright, there's all these guys recovering together. Okay, let me uh, do some surveying. The first thing to get is the one I got there, and then there's that. Yeah, I know how I can tie around. Maybe get things kind of cool about it. Or something. One hit kill! Or something. <laughs> Chill out with all that. You're just killing over there. Oh, I guess these guys are carrying bombs now. Oh, is there only one bomb? Nah, we got both of them. Did it do? Alright. What are you doing, Brittany? I'm just gonna have you do something with the bomb rock there. We see a data file up there kind of briefly. Y'all are waking up. Good thing I kind of timed it the way I did. And... That guy can never catch a break. I thought my Pikmin were gonna die, but nah, ain't happening. I want you guys to get more bombs. Yeah, have some bombs. Imagine the timeline where I'm Mauser Man instead of Tracklight Tamer, like I was thinking about. Brainstorming from some Mario-related enemies. Alright, do I have any, any rocks out even? Blue boys, I'll wait for it to cycle over to red. Come on. My Tudu. Let you carry that one. <laughs> Just rolling around to it at the speed of flounder. Flats the flounder. I wonder what could be in that strange looking battlefield that we saw previously before. But while we're growing dudes up right there, I'm gonna have you guys get in diggy mode. Diggy diggy hole. I'm digging a hole. I'm gonna punch the nectar egg. Does this have more resilience than other things and you can't really uh, get crazy stuff? It didn't even do much damage. Well, we're kind of breaking through it a little bit, even if it's not happening too much. Get our bombs going on. A couple right there. Probably gonna get a few bombs out of this. We've gotta be careful with them in whatever form of combat is gonna be happening for the remainder of this day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do three wing-eating dudes. Like that. It's gonna have you guys... Well, I mean, there's the crush blasts, even though they're scutter chucks. Kind of similar enemy idea. At least it didn't really uh, be problematic with all that. Um... No blues allowed, but reds on the other hand, I'm gonna tone you down. Rots, I wanna have 25 of you. Then maybe like that, then 27 wings as a weird number. I think I do have three of them being carried, so it's gonna be kinda cool about it. Weehee, weehee. Pretty sure my winged bombers are gonna be all these dudes as I've made it happen. So, I'm gonna automate y'all over there to join the fight. In fact, I'm gonna put you over there, because it could be a bit of a mobile fight as well. Not really the best thing to get started with, but maybe it's gonna be some avoidance of crushing. Hey look, another shaggy long legs. Just a bit more purple, and not as a uh, thing. It's supposed to be like the normal version. We already had a little bit of crushing, yay! Um, here's an idea. Let's see if we can get you to stomp on a bomb. Let's see if it'll get anything done. Oop, good thing the bombs didn't get splashed. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it does get rid of the leg, so that does save me time. Oh, let's not do that. Let's see, uh, wait for you to go around, take some damage out of the deal. I do have some more bomb rots to work with. I should probably take them to the other side. Hey, that's actually pretty helpful. Let's have more, uh, dudes over here. I don't want you over there. I want you to, to go on the other leg. The other leg right there, you know. You're even going for the wrong thing. Get off from there, you bunch of weirdos. We're about to go to the other side here anyway. But I'll keep Brittany over there in case things are going to be needed. I'll, like, toss some wings, even though they're not tossing too properly. Get some rots going, just to get a little bit of stuff. Because, you know, the way they can't be tamed and crushed. Hopefully this isn't going to be dangerous right here, but I'm just going to do it regardless. Eh? Come on. Did it do both of them? I eh, lost a little bit of something. Yeah. It's fine. It's even the rots. How dramatic irony going on. Alright. Get those leggy eggs out of the way. These... Nectar rush right there. Let's be very careful. Alright, oh, yep, gotta watch for the fire because that's kind of a thing going on. That's why I brought reds with me. Alright, gonna focus my rots right there. Then maybe my reds are gonna fall along with them. Don't get crushed. Ooh, that's quite a few. Wow! There's a red genocide more than anything. Take that out of context. Okay. I'm gonna roll with the punches though. Not even much, well, left to do. It's like the hard mode. It's just, uh, not doing such careful planning, because there isn't really much fruit left to get, but I already pretty much have the data files, you know, there is the one to get. 
Uh, no further crushing, please. Let's kind of focus on having a rot skill. And it lost like, what, 30 there? I mean, 35 in this fight. After other things, miscellaneous possibly killing. Come on, climb that leg. That's the particular leg that I would like for you to climb. The leg that is there, the leg I want you to climb. Alright, let's not go to a weird spot either. Come on, not even allowing stuff to happen. This is such a strange fight. Very estranged. What are you doing moving like that for? I don't know. It's like you're automating a little bit. And come on, keep on going. See, that's one thing. Oh, it's probably because I was like locking on or something. Alright, Wings, let's be prepared as you're going to Baldy Long Leg Mode McNose Hair Boy. What the heck are you moving about for? Is it that blue Pikmin that was doing that? Is that what you're so concerned about? I'm gonna get a very small group. Puckerified. Ugh, that's a weird word to use. Peckerified or puckering. Yeah, you guys can do that because you're still gonna reach the centralized area anyway, and you're gonna probably do some decent damage as you latch on. I mean, yeah, of course you're Rock Pikmin, so you can't be perfect about it. Alright, gonna charge the wingy boys, because they can go pretty high, and when it's low, you can toss them pretty high up, and there we freaking go! Let's see you guys doing that. See a brief explosion. Any, uh, flowering to do here? Guess not. But, uh, isn't there? Oh, I already got the bombs there, and it's, yeah. <laughs> they all got used up, but I'm gonna go over here. I'm pretty sure that's the only remaining- oh, wait, no, there is still one that I know about. One, two, three, four, five. It's the Rocky Dude. And one, two, three, four, five wingy dudes. Don't even need to do much else aside from growing. Oh yeah, the swarming sugar grubs also being a thing. Such boys they are. All right, let's have a look at this new stuff. Yeah, because that data file I got was about shaggy long legs right here. All right, then the remaining four indigenous life are going to be at the formidable oak controls. Same for those. There's a little bit of a new thing to learn. Four right there in indigenous life that I've already shown. We already got all Pikmin behavior. Uh, we're about to get the next exploration notes here. Then as for Olimar's log, there's like 6 through 10, all at Formidable Oak. Yeah, a little bit of Olimar-related stuff, you know, because we've got to run into him for the Cosmic Drive Key. Then also that's going to be a Formidable Oak. Pretty much everything left to get. Alright, so, you prepare for all that? Sure, you can grow your rocks. In fact, I'm just going to swarm you on here. I'm probably pulling ahead in terms of rock numbers on other things. Then, I have you guys go for that. Another wingy boy. Be prepared for some plucking. Here, have some pluckages. I don't know. I do want to have all our captains together. Make sure they all... Yeah, they're all here. Just kind of bunching and branching about. Out here for brunch. Do I have any yellows on hand right now? I don't think I do. I think I put them all back. Didn't really do much with them. But I'll pull a couple out just for grabbing sake. Yeah, 11. Do I even have any... Yeah, there's blues there. That's what be going on. There's that. There's even more yellows coming up right now. Good thing uh, the automatic tossing waited to kick in. Otherwise, it would have probably done it when it was in rock mode. Rock mode. Rock mode. Da 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 da. Even after getting your stuff, I don't know what I'm talking about. But we still got plenty of time. We're about to get to. Now it's like hurry up mode when you get there. So then I might take the chance for. Photogenic stuff. Already got the murals, the one in the tree stump over yonder, the cliffstop mystery, then the one under the starting bridge, and then there's the what I'm kind of also pointing to by the waterfall ish place. Something behind the waterfall. That's how video games work. I want to change up, yeah, change up my Pikmin numbers. I'm gonna go all out war with the nothing. Nah. I'm gonna go for a hundred rots, even though I don't really need to have that many, but. I just feel like it. For one, I could uh, flower up any that I might need to as well. And plenty of uh, leafy dudes right there too. Oh yeah, we got a lot of dudes. But I think I have an idea for it. We're gonna finally go through here. Something that I probably should have and would have done sooner. With these very chomped at the bit leaves we got going on. We're gonna get ourselves something. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's toss at Charlie right there. Then just get some disjointedness. And we're gonna do that. Oh no, a poop ball. Are we playing Conquer's Bad Fur Day here? Eh. Then we just hold down. I'm gonna go ahead and toss our captains. The, we, the reason I brought rots is because those rots are dangerous, but these particular ones cannot take down your Pikmin. They can just kind of flatten them like that. Alright, yeah. Be careful. Then this right here is a normal armored cannon beetle larva. Get rid of the word larva. You see these more often than the actual armored cannon beetle itself, which is a boss a couple times a Pikmin 1. Just toss all crazy. Yeah, you're all like gonna get on. You're still gonna take that path. 
Then Brittany, gonna make her way up there. I wanna talk to you because she was talking to herself and going, Wahoo! Oh yeah, a couple things I might wanna try out as well. Yeah, this right here that I was supposed to see way sooner. Like, probably one of the first things you would go for, but... Because I'm weird, it's not the case. Because this right here is something we're going to gander at. Area hints. Right here at number two. What a superb view, the clifftop mystery. Hmm, what is that over there? I need to get a closer look at that snout. Those yellow Pikmin seem to be good at assessing those hard to reach places. That is the idea. But I kind of just automated myself for it. Make sure there's no dudes missing, but there's that one. Uh, Brittany, you're gonna go around and get them. Well, Alf, you're gonna be right here. In fact, I'm gonna switch to Charlie just to keep him in automation mode to see if I can have him do some reading stuff, you know? But to do. Woohoo, I'm ready. Alright, seven dudes carrying. Brittany is not gonna be carried herself. Oh, they were trying to do more stuff, but hey, now we're all not in a decommissioned mode. Here, I'm gonna put all my Pikmin away and take my captains out on their own. Let's be ready for it. I'm holding ZL as if I have other Pikmin besides Rots to put in, but yeah. Bye-bye, you guys go. I flowered you guys up from my spray. And are you ready for some captain singing? Let's do it. Take a nice listen. Any minute now. Any moment now. Maybe it doesn't happen here, but we're just kind of chilling about. They do hum something. You could think it'd be like a Copa album. I thought there was something going on, but I don't know. Maybe let's pull out more Pikmin. Um, oh, it seems like Reds are our weakest link right now. Let's get out a hundred of them. I could even like take them all the way over to the Nectar Rocks if I don't want to waste the spray, which actually sounds kind of pertinent to do, to not waste the spray. So let's do that. We're going to make an expedition over. Swarming Shear Grabs. Sure. Let's get a few of them. At least on my flower dudes. The flower garden friendos. Alright, let's get you guys unfocused off of that. Let's make sure you get back to base in time, which I'm sure you will, because you're right by base and you're a flower dude. Here we go with our countdown. Alright, uh, let's right there. Hopefully I'm gonna make it. Let's not get any dudes crushed. Bam, 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 bam. You can get 20 of each type of Pikmin, but I'm sure I'll do that next time. When I get a good chance. Um, I'll say, is this the place? Wait, the nectar's gone! No! Fine, we'll just do this. You're gonna go super zoomy time with me. Flower grinder, give 500 Pikmin flowers in story mode. Hey, that's actually a cool way of doing it. I didn't really realize that was an achievement, but, or at least remember. Yeah, kind of just uh, going based on them. I don't even know if I'm gonna fully fill in all of them. Let's get a last second picture. Oh man, I couldn't even get it. That's something I should do a bit more photography mode instead of just zooming through everything. But we got all the fruits taken care of, didn't we? Because the ones from the armored can beetle larva and everything else. Gotta clear all this stuff away. Oh yeah, plenty of uh, things to do. And yeah, I'm pretty good on exploration notes regarding all that. Just a lot of stuff at the Forbidden Oak that we're gonna fill in. And yeah, sounds like fun to me if you ask me. Get all that out of the way. And Kushlumi. Very fun. That's like the, pretty much the one armored cannon larva in this game, but I got it and I carried it spoily stuff back. This one is really tasty. Which one? It's like two parts of a blonde imposter and the two same velvety dream drops? What? It's kind of a, a weird uh, symmetry thing. That's the kid. And it's like gonna start the next one with that. I mean, of course, it's gonna fill it in. Maybe a little bit of the next one. No. Full on velvety dream drop. And hey, look at that. All fruit retrieved. We have recovered every bit of fruit from all the accessible areas. We now just need to find the cosmic drag key while we still have some juice supplies remaining. Very nice. It looks like we cleaned out all of the edible matter in the accessible areas. From now on, we're going to be consuming our juice supply. If we don't find the cosmic drive key soon and get back to Kopai, things are going to be bad. <laughs> I don't know. Is this going to take 84 days to do? Eh, yeah, Mishuma. Going to get it figured out. And be ready for a thing reading. I think I had Charlie last active, hopefully. Alright. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I lost a lot of reds there. It was like a big old spike down. Kabloom. Let's get a picture of that for my own posterity. Yeah, almost all of them are red, a little bit of things else, but most definitely red. Yeah, that's why they were my weakest link there after me losing so many. All right, and now, oh, nope, just another Brittany. <laughs> Only have like two for Charlie, about the moment of silence. We completed our mission and harvested all the edible matter from this planet. 
Everyone in Copa would be so happy to. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. We still need to get the Cosmic Drive Key. Let's track that thing down and be on our way. Get the Cosmic Drive Key. We shall begin the process of doing next time on Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And we might also run into Olimar along the way because he's supposedly holding it. Until then, do not toast yourself and remember, keep on plucking. <laughs>